Thanks, Chips. Sure. Uh, first, let's start by greeting members of the media. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, yeah, I think uh, the better team won. Uh, I think we were we were we were good for the three points. A dominant performance against a, a difficult opposition. And and uh, yeah, congratulations to the boys. Very proud of their effort. And uh, yeah, three points, and we move on. Coach, um, so obviously the, the first half, it wasn't much from Chiefs, it was not a position of Sundown. Um, second half, a lot different. How frustrated were you in that moment that you couldn't stangle the game? I tell you, I tell you, Lorenz. But I, we will improve, we'll learn. Sometimes football is that, like that. Uh, uh, I said to them half time, the one score line that betrays you in football is a one nil score line. It betrays you. Uh, and and you, you've seen it so many times in football, you don't even have to, to, to go even very, very far. Uh, on the weekend, I was watching Man City, Arsenal. Man City looked like they were in cruise control. And then it's 1 1, and then they lose the, the cup final. So. So, I don't know, uh, we had so many chances even in the first half, uh, so many final third entries, so many situations where we could be a little bit more aggressive to, to, to make it two and maybe even three nil. And uh, again, also you also have to look at the, the team you play against because historically, if there's a team that's just generally lucky, it's Kaiser Chiefs, you know, historically. And so you've got to make sure that when you have them on the on the edge, you 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 commit and 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 push them over. And we we allow them to to breathe and and uh, and then of course then the goal and it resuscitates them. Then it comes from absolutely nothing. But that's what happens in football. And uh, but just f grateful that and in and in fact, I think Tom misses a foul on Sipo Mule, I, and I stand to be corrected, but I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure it's a foul. And then he lets play on, and then we, we concede, but, but um, yeah. Um, okay, proud of the players for also responding after that, and, and with the feeling that I think they, they felt that they deserved to win the game, and then they committed a little bit more. And uh, very proud of the players for the performance, happy that we're creating so many chances so early in the season. and. Uh, we just have to try to get better and better. Um, Coach, looking at um, how your team played, I mean, there were, there were instances where we thought <clears throat> it was heading for a draw, but you happened to turn it around. What is it that you saw? Because we were about to make, I think, an over substitute, um, bring him on, and then you had to change the, with what with the guys with, you were know, bringing on board, and you got a goal out of that. What was that? Yeah, I'm not sure which moment you felt it was heading for a draw, except except once they had equalized. Because I never, I had no feeling that it was heading for a draw. I thought the one team that could score the goal was us. But okay, uh, the change for 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 Lisibanku and Obas was was necessitated by the equalizer, and I felt we could push a little bit with uh, Obas playing in a position that he's played for TS Galaxy because. We are a little bit thin in that space, and then uh, with the speed of Lisibanku to come in, but uh, we created a very good chance after that, and um, we we scored. But as I said, uh, we squandered so many chances today. Uh, but also, also you got to you got to give credit to the goalkeeper Peterson. I thought he was he was man of the match in my opinion, and um, and yeah. Also, give credit to Chiefs for being a worthy opponent for a game that is like this. You've got, you, you need two sides. And I thought Chiefs was uh, resilient and very aggressive defensively. Uh, but yeah, proud of the players once again. And, and, and congratulations to the team for, uh, for a well-deserved win, in my opinion. Thanks, Chiefs. Uh, coach, sure. one of the, the differences that I saw between uh, this game and the game against um, the game last week Friday uh, in Bolovale was the fact that uh, today you had more interceptions than you had in that game, but you had less passes. 
do you think the difference of not having Mubala, but having Mubala, who it makes sense with the interceptions, but like with the lesser passes, it also makes sense. Do you think uh, that could have like killed a bit of the fluidity today that we uh, we saw on Friday? Yeah, I have to watch it again. I, I've I've promised the players one thing this season. I've told them I don't comment about the 90 minutes until I've watched it. Because far too many times I've made the mistake last season where I've been so harsh on them for a performance. And, and then when I watch, I'm like, oh, hang on, I'm, I'm completely wrong here. And then I've got to come back the next morning and say, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, because I'm human, you know, I, I'm, and just like them, they make mistakes, I make mistakes and, and, and uh, uh, so, so before I can even comment too much on that uh, space, I, I just give me the uh, the space, if you call it, to be able to watch, and then I'll, I'll give you a verdict on, on on what I feel about the performance after I've watched it. Okay, last three questions. Because we have a press conference on Thursday. I see this. Mm -hmm. I, I'll start with you. <laughs> okay. and, and, and the main and the main side, last two. Okay. Uh, coach, congratulations. On Thank the you. <laughs> Thanks, Kamu. Um, today you played AB as a left back uh, in, a, in a back three. I wanted to find out what he gives you in that position that you feel he's so confident to to, to execute uh, and, and leave Masako so, so, so far forward. Um, yes, uh, why, 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 why AB in that position? Yeah, he gives a lot more than uh, we, we, we have to play a little bit different this season. So, so I've got to control a bit more the half spaces. Uh, because because the, the, the everything has has pros and cons. The pros is that we get width and 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 very good verticality and penetration, but but the same width and and and, and penetration can hurt you a lot because the way you attack is the way you're going to defend. So if you attack with width, it means you lack compactness in 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 defense, and 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 then you've got to be stronger. In, in the jewels, stronger in the direct ball, stronger in the in, in the controlling of the spaces, half space in front, uh, on the sides, on the lines, and AB does that. And 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 one of the the key things with AB is that his offensive press is is is, is second to none. AB's got uh, the ability to 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 cover the space in front aggressively with the timing and maybe the the word that can use with the interceptions because that needs you need to read and be proactive and he's got that that ability that gives a bit of a cushion for 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 the offensive players both the eight and um, on the winger not to to cover a lot of ground or negative negative ground because the the left center half presses and covers that space but yeah there's a lot of differences today small tweaks here and there which were necessitated by the st structure of the opposition they caught us a little bit unawares, uh, and by surprise today, we by going with a three-man midfield with uh, with Sitebe joining Castillo and Yusuf Mart as opposed to what they had on the weekend against Chipa with a ten and then two pivots. And so when they had the eights and uh, one one sitting midfielder, it caused a little bit of a it disrupted our press a little bit more. But okay, we we adapted very well. We've got some very smart players, and uh, again, as I said, uh, congratulations to the team, congratulations to the players. Very proud and happy that we got the three points. Coach, um, congrats. thank you. signs from, from the outside, from Can do better. Can do better. Proud, proud, happy. We're making progress. But he knows my feelings. <laughs> he can do better. M more. M more end product. More. Busy does not necessarily mean effective. Um, can I ask you, uh, Zwane, with still very influential in the game, I think you took him off. Turn 34 last week. Is it now a conscious policy to really manage him the season, try and get as much as you possibly can, not flop the players like the previous regime did? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. No, hundred uh, percent. And added to that, he's struggling like the coach with the flu. 
Uh, so very proud that he sacrifices himself and he, he says, coach, I, you need me, I'm the leader. And even with a, a bout of flu, I'm, 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 I'm able to be at service. And then, and then, of course, you've got to, as you say, you've got to also now schedule a little bit the mileage and, and, and try to make sure that we've got possibilities to still be extremely effective for a very important game on the weekend. Coach, I think uh, late on in the second half, when, when Tremula went out, you had Marcelo there on top. Yeah. And I think there was a time when uh, uh, Rivera was also at the top. Yeah. Is, is, this, is this an indication that you might just need striker because in your 18 there was no other striker outside of the union. You need a striker and also on Rivero Costa. What, what does it bring? What have you made of him so far? Uh, um, um, do we need a striker? We need Nasir to return back from injury. We need Tapelo Morena to return back from injury. And then we have a little bit of a, of a cushion and a buffer in that space. We, we also have uh, the situation with Kutumela, so we need to clarify that also. So that's also, so there's no real agency in that s situation. Um, so, so maybe the, the word need is, uh, is, uh, is too strong a word. Yeah, yeah, for sure you are, but your assessment is 100% correct. And, and maybe it's highlighted even more by the injuries to Nasir and to, to, to Taps. But okay, uh, once we can get over that, I think we we are quite strong in that in that position. Uh, but as I said uh, pre-match to, to the conference, I said there is one position that I I expect us to do some work. But that's uh, the responsibility of the club and uh, the sporting director. So they know my feelings about it. So I'm gonna leave that leave it at that. We, yeah, good player, it's a ceiling, ceiling raiser, ceiling raiser. He gives us, he gives us so many very good things, uh, possibilities to have an, a more flexible offensive line. Uh, Sikukuni plays on the right. This this game plays down the middle. And and today for ninety minutes played in three positions. To be honest, uh, good player. But like I said about Maseko, I still I still believe that Lucas can 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 give more. But with all the the new players, we've got to be patient. We've got to support them. Uh, uh, they get they get hugs from me for a very very good performance today. Uh, but I think they'll also get to understand me even more, like the ones that have been with me for for quite some time now, that I'm very difficult to satisfy very very difficult and even when they they do give a little bit more than what they expect i still expect a little bit more so even with lucas but i'm very patient with them we have a lot of work to do and um, i think um, we will still see the best out of out of uh, tapelo out of lucas but very proud of the team um, must say very good team performance always team 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 and and uh yeah we move and we have the last question uh, congratulations on the world coach sure girl thank you excuse me of course he can i think he's got the self assurance period this year it's only 19 yeah the supporters are putting the ball for him uh and and one aspect that i've seen is that most of your players improve under you from last season can you just maybe just add a couple of points as to how do you improve this place, particularly in Masego? How do you work with him to improve? Is it a case of watching? What exactly do you do for him to improve and get better? Uh, Masego was. Masego and Mas, um, Obas were the last to go to bed last night. Uh, video room uh, with the analyst, myself sitting, and when everyone uh, went to sleep, we were sitting and, and analyzing not just their performances in their previous clubs, performances at training, we cut clips, performances of uh, some of the players that play in those positions. For an example, last night we spent some time watching not, not the Leroy Sane of Bayern, but the Leroy Sane of Man City, because the role is a little bit closer to that. Uh, and uh, him and Obas had to sacrifice a little bit of the hours of sleep to to 
to to spend time with with us and uh, th that's that's how we work we work very hard behind the scenes I've got to compliment the the technical team in its entirety from the coaches that we have coach Magnova coach Wendell uh, coach Michael because they make a big contribution to that uh, and then the analysts also work tirelessly I, I I keep them on their toes I ask them to cut clips and they stay up until 2 3 a.m. so so this is the work that we try to do only to be at service for this football club and to be at service for the players so it's it's not just me it's a it's a it's a collective effort and and uh, it's it's nice when you see that the the there's benefits and the results are there for everyone to see thank you so much